Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr CLEP. It's Friday the 2nd of June. We seem to have had a real lack of mods over the last week. Um, I'm assuming with FarmCon looming at the end of this month, they've got a lot of stuff to organise, a lot of stuff to sort out. The dev team and stuff are going to be working on things to do with FarmCon, I would imagine. However, today <laughs> they've dropped 18 new mods and three new maps, which I'll get on to tomorrow, well over the weekend at least. Eureka Farms by TNT Modding, the Breton Countryside by Mail LTA, and the Polsine by Merco Mod um, are new maps, like I said, I'll get on to those as soon as I can. As far as updates go, we've got quite a few as well. The map Crocken Farm by Game Time Tone, that does need a new save game. The Goldcrest Valley 22 by Celebuki. That says it does need a new save game if you want the grass missions to be sorted out. If not, you don't have to have a new save game on that one. The map Brosum by Tor Ben says it does need a new save game. We have got updates to the Agco Harvester Pack by Matt26. The Lizard Colossus Harvesters Pack. Um, I'm going to have a look at one of those in just a second after we start on this. Um, by Chris S and Riley S. The Massive Ferguson 8S US EU series by KRKZ Modding. The MAN TGX Transporter by HR Force and Fazoigbau. The John Deere Drill N542C by LR Modding. The Crossetto SPL Pack by DD Mod Passion. The Flegel ASW271 by Barsum and Butters BTS. The Joskin Transpace 8000 by Budovec Team. The Lizard SR7240 by JM Garcia and the Cookie Factory, also by Chris S and Riley S. I'm going to start here with this mod first, then we'll go out and have a look. I don't often look at the updates, but I know the Chris S, Riley S stuff is normally pretty cool anyway, but the update is an entirely new machine added. But just to show you, there's an update there and it's pretty cool. But we're going to start here. This is the three point gooseneck receiver hitch by Flint Town Modding. 0.39 megabytes download, one slot on console. Now, all the pictures show it being attached to, I think it's a Mac Trucker 921 trailer, it could be a um, 82 Studio one. The only one we've got standard in game, which is a gooseneck, is this, and it won't attach to it. The premise behind this being that it's a gooseneck attacher. Three point link mounted, you can use for work around the yard. It will also attach to regular trailers as well. Um, but if you're going to hitch something up that is a gooseneck for longer journeys, it suggests having a front weight. I got it out, and like I say, it won't hook up to this gooseneck. So it will be a case of other gooseneck options are available for trailers. I just don't have any installed, um, which is a little bit frustrating. But you'll have to try them out on various different things if you want to be using it. So under miscellaneous, the three point gooseneck receiver hitch, 100 to buy, slot count was only one anyway. So it stays the same and we got the option to change the main colors. A lot of metallics, which have a real kind of shiny look to them or we've got sort of say standard colors, um, but anything on that palette to choose from. Uh, and it hooks up three point and yeah, I'm just, you know, have a play with it. So moving on to this. Now, Chris S and Riley S have bought us in the Colossus Harvester pack the harvester, the cotton, uh, the, the uh, root crop harvester for potatoes and sugar beet with standard capacities, unreal capacities, loads of different options um, for changing light configurations, colour configurations, you name it. Well, the update brings us a cotton harvester, but not just any cotton harvester. <laughs> We've got the option of tracks on this. Uh, this is the Fast Farm Edition, as you can imagine. There's a standard option you can go for, but the unrealistic option, the bale sizes don't change. It's still a 10,000 litre bale, baler. Um, this does round bales like the um, John Deere version, not square bales. But it's the speed of the thing. This one in particular will run at, will run at 42 miles an hour over the field if you want it to. We'll have a, like I said, we'll have a quick look, but I'm not going to go through, because it is technically an update, but... You know, like I say, I don't often show the updates. So we go to our cotton technology. The other thing to be aware of as well is price. If you look at cotton harvesters, 485 grand, 847, 376. So you've got the standard-ish version, and then you've got the unrealistic version. Um, the standard version's got a lower top speed, but you can go up to, I think, 22 miles an hour. This one, however, 
uh, we've got 690 horsepower, runs at 23 miles per hour, or 1,250 horsepower, which does 42 miles per hour. We have got the option of, within the tyre choices, we've got Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, Vlagerstein, Big AT, Nokian. There's a spiked option as well, if you want that. Um, but we can have triples on it. Standard single, super single, modified, crawler track, crawler track 2. Uh, which one was it under? Lizard, Trelleborg, Crawl Track, Twin Front, Twin Wheels, Triples. There's a whole load of different options. We've got additional lights, extra work lights, light bar, the whole lot. Beacons, strobe lights, we can go for various different colours. There's orange and red and green. Uh, you've got blue, purple, and then we go yellow, white, police, fire EMS, uh, window tints, logos, and then all the various different colours. So, let's say check it out it is an update i of course went for green leds and strobe lights and all the all the gubbins loads of lighting on it 42 honestly it's brilliant so if you're struggling and you've got those big old cotton fields to do and you're thinking oh, this is taking a while You might want this. But again, if unrealistic stuff is not your thing, that's absolutely fine. You don't have to use it. Or you can get a standard version with the lower speed or whatever. But it is there, it is available, and it is cool. I think it is anyway. Um, so there we go. <laughs> Moving on from there. We've got these. I'm going to speed up a little bit now. These are the flags of different brands by JMZ. 0.72 megabytes download. 10 slots each for the first one of each. And there are 150 to buy. Under build mode and decoration and others is where you'll find them. And I think pretty much every brand is represented. So we've got them all. In alphabetical order. I'm not going to read them all out. Nice bit of flutter on each one. There's a giant one there as well. But even including like um, fortress on there as well. Komatsu, Kubota, Landini, MAN, Pons, Rigitrack, Roper. We've got a Sampo Rosen new. First old Tatra, Zator, Volvo. It's all there. Like I said, build mode, decoration, others. Slot count will come down to one once you've placed one of each one, but there are ten slots for the first one, as I've already said. So, flags of different brands by JMZ. Next, we've got improvised animal shelters by Disturbed Simulations, 2.07 megabytes download. There's three in this pack. We've got Cow Barn, which is in the middle just there. The Cow Barn is nine slots, 25,000 to buy. We'll hold 15 cows. The Pig Barn, 10 slots, 25 grand to buy. We'll hold 25 pigs. I've left the gate open, I've just realized. How have they not escaped? It's lucky. Then we've got the Sheep Barn, and that's eight slots, also 25 grand, and that'll do 25 sheep. Um, the reason these are uh, improvised animal sheds is basically they've just taken a regular shed and they've just put fencing and, and the feed troughs across so you can sort of temporarily house if you want to. The cow one, your milk point is just there. Your dialogue box is just there. Um, I found the feed trigger and bedding trigger was just here. If you want manure, you have to place a manure heap separately but close to. Uh, with the pigs, dialogue box was just here. Slurry point is just inside. Feed trigger was here, but the straw trigger wasn't in the same place as in the cows. I had to open the gate and go in a little bit at a diagonal. It's sort of just over there a little bit for the straw trigger to come up. And then the sheep, dialogue box is out the front. Hail, grass in this trough here, and your pallets of wool will spawn out the front. When we go into our animals menu, you'll see all the water is provided for them. You don't have to provide water. Um, so there you go. Fairly straightforward. Under build mode, under animals, you'll find them. Slot counts will come down to one on each one, but 25 grand, not too bad at all. The pigs, and then sheep. Just out there. Improvised animal sheds by Disturbed Simulations. Next, we've got the log shed, which is just here. This is by BK Mods. 6.93 megabytes download, four slots on console, 10,000 to buy. Lighting is automatic on this, it will come on at night. Fairly high, actually, fairly large. You'll get some the big, big ish machinery in there, I guess. Under sheds, just there. Slot count will come down to one, as I said. 10 grand. The log shed. 
by BK Mods. Next we've got the Southern Brazil Wood House. This by GNFS is 12.61 megabytes download, 7 slots on console, 20,000 to buy. We have a sleep trigger and a wardrobe trigger in there. I couldn't get any light switches to work. I couldn't, I'm assuming the lighting will be automatic because I couldn't find... I mean, there's plenty of light switches, but I couldn't get them to turn on. But you've got this covered sort of parking area, storage bay, whatever you want to use it for. It's nicely detailed, nicely modelled. Under build mode and farmhouses is where you'll find it. Just there, 20 grand slot count will come down to one. We come over to here, we can open the door and go inside. So there's a light switch there. There's one over here, but I couldn't get anything to come up on the triggers for it. We've got a nice little kitchen with donuts and pastries provided. Bedroom here with our sleep trigger and our wardrobe trigger. We do have... It does say with opening doors and windows. I think I only found one in the bathroom just here. So I did wonder... Oh no, this would be this one here as well. Sorry. There we go. Because I couldn't reach over that um, louvres and I don't think that changed. But there you go. Sleep trigger, parking bay, wardrobe. Nicely made and detailed. The Southern Brazil Wood House by Gian FS. Next, we move on to this, which is another interesting one. This is the Farm TMR slash Milk Building by Chumpy Farmer. 39.93 megabytes download, 13 slots on console for the TMR building. And then we have also got a silo extension milk tank, like the ones in here, that can be put inside if you want to, so it's an extension. So this wants to be placed by your cow barns, cow buildings. Or well, the milk tank can just be placed by it. doesn't have to be with this if you don't want to. But you can place both with the milk tank inside if you want to next to your cow barn. So, under build mode, under production is where you'll find it because it is a production. 65 grand. Slot count will come down to 1 from 13. And then if we go to buildings silo extensions is where you'll find that tank there so the milk tank extension four grand uh, three slots five million liter capacity on that but what you can do is if you take off the collisions if i toggle free and then move it if i get the angle just right i can and you see just inside there i can place it right inside so it's left a space for you to put it in there if you want to but again, you don't have to. You can place it right next to your, your cows to have an extension on your milk tank. But putting in is done here. We're going around. We've got a door side there. Does that one close? I don't know. If it, no, it doesn't. Um, and our manage point is just here. So I've put a little bit of each in. Now, this is pretty rapid because the actual recipe is quite big, making 4,000 litres, and it's 2,160 cycles per month. If I turn that on, you'll see it will start going up quite rapidly. But what I'm going to do is actually read out the capacities on this because it holds quite a lot. Um, it will accept 2 million litres of silage into the storage here, 1.2 million litres of hay, 500,000 litres of straw, 300,000 litres of corn. Now, unlike most TMR recipes, this one does require corn. So whether that's something that might put you off or not, it's up to you. Lights are automatic, on at 6pm, off at 8am. And it will hold 5 million litres of total mix ration. So it will keep producing, it will store 5 million litres of total mix ration in here. As you can see, we're up to 2,000 litres already and climbing. Very handy, very speedy. The Farm TMR Milk Building by Chumpy Farmer. Next we have got this. This is the Lizard 6011 by Totha. It's 8.21 megabytes download, 8 slots on console, 4.7 metres wide. It's a corn or sunflower header for your harvesters. You will find it under tools, under corn headers, just there. 10 grand to buy, slot can comes down to 1. Options on it. You've got that, or that. And then we've got attachers on the back. So you've got a John Deere T560, an HTX attacher, WTS attacher, 108SL attacher. I think it will attach to, to most small harvesters, fairly small harvesters. 
it will just depend on um that's the new holland sorry the new holland and um what is that w t s mine's, my mind is blanked that's the class 108 sl um it will just depend on how how it rides with the attachment um we can change the main color to anything on that palette doesn't fold or anything like that but as far as I can tell that cage around it is just for I guess in the real world just to stop loss of crop and stuff bouncing off around the sides I don't think it actually makes a difference in game Okay, the Lizard 6011 by Totha. Next, we've got these. This is the Lizard MJT3 by Average Enjoyer. 18.52 megabytes download, eight slots each. We've got one which is a slurry or digestate spreader out to six meters, and the other one is just a tanker. So that won't spread anything, but it will transport things. Both of them 3,000 liters. You'll find them under slurry tanks. So. Sorry, there's a lot of mods today. I'm just looking down my list and there's a lot of information. I'm just trying to make sure I pick up the, the right bits to tell you for the right mods. So there we go. The MJT3. That one. Five grand. Slot count comes down to one. That's the one that's a spreader. 25 horsepower required. That's all. Six meter spread width. We can have design red, green, stainless steel. If you go into pretty colourful, all that means is down the bottom it adds in some selections for changing the colors so for the main tank design color pump color actually that's a little bit difficult more difficult to see but the pump down the front uh, intake hose let's go for red for example to make it stand out uh, rim color and then license plate so if you've gone for the pretty colorful option if not you can either stain this screen or red. We'll leave it on one of those. Wheel setup, we've got standard. Standard two. Fenders, yes or no. Gate valve on the back, design one or two. Decal language. Power takeoff at the front. We've got uh, power takeoff, hydraulic. Power takeoff two, just doesn't have the cover on it. So if you're running something that doesn't have PTO, you can still operate it. And license plate option on there as well. And then the next one over, all the same options, exactly the same. Difference with this one, it doesn't have a spread width. Um, like I say, it's a, it's a tanker, and that one will tank uh, fuel, water, milk, um, def, herbicide, liquid fertilizer, slurry, or digestate. So, we can activate dump application if we want to. Okay, a six meter spread, 3,000 litre capacity. The Lizard MJT3 by Average Enjoyer. Next. We've got just over here, we've got the Vogel and Newt. Uh, this is the Heros 1000 by Baki. It is 6.05 megabytes download, five slots on console and six meters wide. There are no options on this, but we will we'll zoom all the way out. We will have a look because uh, slot count, see what the slot count comes down to. Slot count comes down to one. There you go. 300 horsepower required though. Like I say, no options. You get it just like that. But this is one that unfolds and rotates. So depending on which where you're going to start on the field if i was going to do this field edge first i would probably rotate the plow and start this side again however you want to do it it's in type g once opened out lower it down and away we go and when you get to the other end of the field you're ready to come back the other way you raise it rotate it potentially Put the leading edge on the next bit, drop it down, and away we go again. Nice animation on it. I don't think we can adjust it 
out at all any further. That that is does that seem like six meters to you? I don't know if it does actually. Hmm. There's no adjustment on that. Maybe it is. Maybe it just doesn't look like it. I don't know. We have got to allow create fields as well, so do we want to extend your fields or create new ones? You absolutely can. That's the Vogel and Newt Heros 1000 by Baki. Next, over here, we have the Vedestat Rapid 600S by Melody98. 12.61 megabytes download, 11 slots on console. Also 6 meters, just here. Uh, there's not a lot of options on this one. This is fairly standard, I think. Um, we've got a license plate option on it. It is a direct drill, so you don't have to cultivate or anything first. You can direct drill with it. You will find it under cedars. Right out there, 99 grand. Which actually isn't too bad, really, for a 6 meter, I think. 180 horsepower required. It'll run at 11 miles per hour. Yeah, license plate option only. It only does seed. It's not a seed and fertilizer spreader. 3,100 litre capacity. We've been close cover. Unfold. Nice animation on the unfold. Nice sound effects. We should have ridge markers left, right, or back off again if you if you like using your ridge markers. Turn our seeder. Drop it down. And away we go. Direct drilling to our heart's content. Six meters wide. I do like watching these things fold and unfold. It's brilliant. Brilliant engineering. Uh, there you go. The Vedashat Rapid 600S by Melody98. Next. We have got... Where did I put it? Over here. We have got the Lizard Hamazad. I think it is the Hamazad by Valek. This is 2.28 megabytes download. It is three slots. 1.5 meters wide, no options available on this. This is a potato planter. And um, what I like about this is that this is old school potato planting. You've got two seats, you've got your trough, potatoes, or you can put seeds in this one, but if you would normally put your potatoes in that, little trough there, you set on your seats, you take them out of there and put them onto this, which when this is lowered, mechanically, that runs on the ground, rotates those. So as you're putting the potatoes in, it puts them down, Bomb, and they get seeded, and out they go. It's rather cool, actually. We go to our potato technology. That's where you'll find it. 4,600. I say 1.5 meters. It's going to take you a while, but it's designed for fairly small fields. 35 horsepower required, that's all. You'll hold 200 litres. No options available. You get it just like that. We'll start off our tractor. There's nothing to turn on. I don't think. No. Oh, yeah, there is. Well, that's interesting because I thought it was mechanical, so when you lower it down, it maybe that's just you have to to get it to work. There you go, see them rotating. Two rows, two seats. Very cool. The lizard. Hamazad by Valek. Next. We've got this beastie. This is the Liz this is sorry, this is the Woods Chip Trailer. This is by Marcelo Lazarotto. It is 12.51 megabytes download, 11 slots on console. It's got a hundred thousand litre capacity. Now it is designed predominantly for wood chips, however, it is a forage trailer. So it will do wood chips, it will do sugar beet. Uh, sorry, sugar bit sugar cane. It will do grass, hay, straw, silage, total mix ration. So it's a forage trailer, predominantly designed for wood chip, but it will do all those other things as well. Um, unlike sort of unreal capacity trailers and that kind of stuff we have knocking around, it's a big old trailer because 100,000 litres. It's a fair size. You will find it under trailers. Out in the end, 88 grand for 100,000 litres. Slot count will come down from 11 to 1. The option of Continental or Lizard. 
main colour, anything on that palette. Rim colour, anything on that palette. And licence plaps on there as well. Fairly straightforward. Start it up, as you can see. She's big! We do have the axles that can be lowered or raised. This is. Which is fair, I think, because the weight I've got in it, it looked like they were on the floor already. They are raising yeah, slightly. There we go. Unload. It's a fairly fast unload, actually. Doesn't tip. As you can see. Running lights down the sides. Work lights on the back. The Woods Chip Trailer by Marcelo Lazzarotto. Next, we've got this, or these. Um, I'm going to do the tractor in a moment. I'm going to use the tractor to do use the tether, but we'll go into the tractor in just a moment because they're both mods today. Um, we have got the Deutzfahr Condimaster 7621 by BD Modding. 4.56 megabytes download, three slots on console, 6.1 meter wide tether. Which is where you'll find it. There you go. Slot count will come down to one. 60 horsepower required. We can have. We can just change the uh, the attachment point. Weight set balls, yes or no. That's your only options. Start this up. Unfold. Do have lights indicators on the back of it? A standard. Turn those off. Start it up. Drop it down. And it tets. Which is what you kind of hope a tether's going to do, don't you, really? We're a bit Deutzfahr heavy, this next section, actually. That's the Deutzfahr Condi Master 7621 by BD Modding. This is where I got a little bit confused, and I wondered whether it was a typo or not. Because next, we've got this. Which is the Deutz Agrostar 4.61 to 4.71 series by DB Modding. So the other one's BD Modding, this is DB Modding. I'm hoping that's correct and it's not just a typo. They've been trans... not digits. The letters have been transposed, but they should be two separate mods. 10.13 uh, megabytes download and 11 slots on console. I do like these chunky tractors. I mean, they're really cool. You'll find this under small tractors. Second one in, just there. So we're going to have 88 horsepower or 100 horsepower. We have got Trelleborg, Mich Mitis, Michelin, Nokian, Continental, Vredestein, back to Trelleborg. Now we do have standards are the sort of slotted slotted um, wheels, and then we've got standard full rims. So we go through a whole load of options between bouncing between all those. I'm not going to read them all out, but under Trelleborg... Mitis, Michelin, Nokian, just those, Continental, Vredestein, back to Trelleborg again, Design Standard, Left Beacon, Right beacon, both beacons are off. Extra lights, yes or no. Then we've got attaches. Front weight, as we work our way up. Front hydraulic with PTO. Back again. Front of attacher, no. Quick, Hauer, MX, back again. Front fenders, yes or no. Licence plate, less, less or no, yes or no. Those are your options. So we do have under L1, right stick up and down, does the front window, like so. L1, R1, left stick side to side, does the rear window. Right stick up and down, and side to side, do the doors. I 
sounds about the same as this one. Interior, I'll put the lights on there. A little bit of a glow on the dash there, which I like too. Very cool indeed. Nice little tick over as well. Lovely. The Deutz Agro Star 4.61 to 4.71 series by DB Modding. Also by Deutz Var. We've got this. This is the, well, it's Deutz Var. Agro Vector 37.7 by Spico. 15.66 megabytes download, 11 slots on console. It's a few different tyre choices on this one as well. It's very cool. It's a little bit like the Leap Air. There's a Leap Air modded one that's got this front cage thing. That's very handy, I found, for logging, for adjusting log piles, but it's also good for pushing pallets around and IBCs and stuff like that. If you want to go there, you don't have to use it. So, this you'll find under telehandlers. There we go. 100 horsepower, 73 grand for the base model. Slot count will come down to one. We've got Trelleborg, Michelin, Mitis, PKT, Nokian, Batch Trelleborg. It's on Trelleborg. Michelin, just those. Mitis, just those. BKT. Nokian. Back to Trelleborg again. If I go for... Let's go with wides. Front guard bar, yes or no. Beacon lights. Default beacon light. LED beacon light. No. Now I thought I'd gone with an LED, but mine seems to be rotating. It could still be an LED in there, I guess. Fenders, yes or no? And then license plate option on there, too. So, hop in, start it up. Lights. We do have the door that opens and closes, like so. Then we've got our usual adjustments you might expect. It's got, yeah, it's got quite a long, yeah, a fairly long boom on that. And then we do have, if we drive forward, for our steering, we've got front wheel steer, crab steer left, crab steer right, all wheel steer. Nice compact unit, not too expensive, 100 horsepower. Interior, nicely modelled. That's what I did find, there we go. Yeah. The Deutzfahr Agro Vector 337.7 by Spico. Next, next, we've got this. This is the Massey Ferguson 3700AL series by Stefan NB2. 9.61 megabytes download, 18 slots on console. I love, there's a few options on this. I think are absolutely fantastic. And some very cool tyre choices on it as well. So it takes a, a fairly standard Massey Ferguson and makes it a little bit, uh, I don't know. Just makes it a little bit cooler. It's got a nice aggressive stance to it. This you will find under small tractors out on the very end there. 43 grand for the base model. Slot count comes down to one. So under standard, we'll have a look down the options first. But standard, and we've got engine setup. 75 horsepower, 85 horsepower, 95, 100 for tuned. So 100 being the highest it will go. Uh, we've got Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Continental, Mitis, Vrejstein, Nokian. That's Trelleborg. That's on a Trelleborg. I love that. And that. Michelin. BKT, just that option. Continental. Midas. Vrejstein. Knock in just that, back to Trelleborg, which means quite cool. Beacon standard, strobe clear, strobe orange, back to standard again, whichever you'd rather go for. Attaches, front weight, 1000 kilo, and then we go from the front weight 
two attachers all under the same thing. So you've got quick MX standard. So you can't have a front weight and the uh, um, front loader attacher because I think the weight would get in the way maybe. But anyway, you won't let you have both. Uh, base colour, anything on that colour, anything on that colour, anything on that palette. Uh, roof colour, for example. Chassis, let's go for something else. Side top mesh, there we go. Front mesh, interior colour, rim colour. Or license plate. Now, if we go back up to the top, the one that I skipped. Where are we? Come on. So, design ideas. Standard. Mean machine, which is the one I went for, which sets those parameters already for you. Silver elegance. Or that one I did like, the green venom, which is also rather cool. So you can have preset versions that selects various different things for you. I mean, in all of those, you can still go through and adjust stuff. Absolutely you can, but there's some presets there for you as well. So, hop in, start it up now. Is this the one that had it? I think it was. Beacon, depending on which one you've gone for. Our lights. Now, under L1, R1, if I turn the lights on, like this, L1, R1, the lights stick up and down, we can adjust our lights on the roof. So we have them further out or bring them right in. So for close in work, you're in the yard doing stuff with front loaders maybe or whatever you can have it right in close if you're doing stuff in the field at night you can take him out a little bit further so you can see depending on what equipment you're using i like that that's cool they don't move much but it's enough to give you a little bit more lighting on there there's no doors or windows that open on this one the interior like i say sorry um i do like the, the different options so i went for mean machine but the green venom i thought was pretty cool as well there we go. The uh, Massey Ferguson 3700AL series by Stefan NB2. Next, and before you go, oh, we've had these before. This is something just a little bit different. This is the T-Wolf AgriPower 9 point... Uh, Nine point two four megabytes download, 20 slots on console. It's 700 horsepower. And because it has a rear attacher, trailer hitch and three point link plus PTO you can have an adjusted as well in the front to either have a hitch or a three point link that means you can use this as a tractor so rather than just having plough attachments on it or levelers for doing stuff on silage clamps you can use this as a tractor 700 horsepower it goes at 20, no, 30 something miles now, 37 miles an hour it's a beast. That's why I got these two, because I thought, you know, have a look and see what it's like. But you'll find this under large tractors, out on the end there, only 199,500 for a 700 horsepower, for all intents and purposes, tractor. Slot count comes down to one from, what was it, 20. So you've got beacon lights, none. Original both. Original right, original left. LED both. Right, left. Or none. Fenders on the back, yes or no. So you can have those on or off. If you don't want them there. If you want them out of the way. Get shot, we can. So at the front, we've got hitch. Hitch or front hydraulics. So you can have a three point link on the front with a PTO in there as well. Main colour, anything on this palette. Let's go with green, for example. Does all of that. Interior colour, we'll do. You've guessed it, the interior. Front hydraulic colour. Just hope for something that stands out a bit so you can see it. There we go. And then logo and exhaust colour. So at the moment it's on special black. You can have used aluminium or chromed if you want to. So, hop in, start it up. Beacons if you've got them. Lights. Horn that we do have. Doors that open as well. Either side. What we'll do, let's hook that up and hook that up. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, 37 miles an hour. 700 horsepower. Turns on a dime. 
You're not going to have any problems in the field whatsoever with this. It sits fairly low to the ground. I guess ground clearance isn't fantastic, but it's tracked. So you can attach anything you like to it. Drop that off. Interior. Visibility is good. Nice curved screen on there. I think it's brilliant. Nice. The T-Wolf is for Turbo Wolf, I think it is, it stands for. So the T-Wolf Agri Power by MTL Modding Team, which brings us on to the last of the mods for today. Sorry, it's taken a little while. There have been quite a few. And it's this. The Massey Ferguson 5650 by Holtz FS and Wagner Giacomozzi. 54.4 megabytes download. 25 slots on console for the harvester. The header is, is well, this header is 5.8 meters, six slots. The header trailer is two slots. But there's also, I didn't get them both out, but there's also, if we go into here, there's also under corn headers, you probably saw it when we were looking at the other one, out there, we've got the Cyclone 3010L. Five slots, 4.6 meters. So slightly different attachments for the PTOs, depending on what you go for, standard or side float. I couldn't see what difference it made in the actual, because I've got the other one, the other he he header does the same thing. If we come out of there and go to regular headers, we'll have a look at it in just a moment. Uh, the rigid uh, header, 9,800, 5.8 meters wide, slot count comes into one, design one or two. Just has slightly heavier tines on there, or slightly looser. Say looser, smaller. Uh, header trailer. Just there, 2800. Option on this rim colour, anything on that palette. And licence plate option there too. Then we come out and we go to the harvesters themselves, or the harvester itself. And then 45 grand for the base model. 5000 litre tank. Not too bad really. When you look at the size of the harvester, you think it's going to be quite small, but that's not bad, 5000 litres. So we've got a 4x2, 4x4, or tracked. The 4x2 is not driven on the rear axle, but the 4x4 is, so it brings it in, and we've got a drive shaft that runs through to it. And then the tracked version, like so. So on the 4x2, we've got standard, well, well, I won't read them all out, but we have got... And the 4x4... Then tracked, this changes the rear wheel. Then we've got back sticker, standard Massey Ferguson, or reflective triangle. Cabin, we can have it open or with a cab. No extra price, so when the weather gets a bit inclement, you can take it into the yard, switch it over, put a cab on it if you want to. Uh, then we've got standard, this was industrial, single, oh, this is in the back. So in the back there underneath, we've got standard, single rotor, double rotor, Double rotor and spreader, back to standard. Side covers. Now, I took side covers off. Now, there is an option to open and close those side covers. So the one I've got out, I can't show you that, but you can if you've got the side covers on. Beacon lights, yes or no. Exhaust, standard or chromed. The exhaust is out back there. So standard or chromed. Cabin glass. Attaches, standard or side float. So depending on which header you went for. It depends how many PTOs attached to it and that kind of stuff. Uh, and then we've got spreader, standard. Now this on the back. As far as, again, as far as I can tell, it, the straw spreader seems to give you more, if, you, if you've got straw swath disabled, it spreads it out a little bit further. But straw chopper, straw chopper and lid didn't seem to make much difference. Then pipe. Now this is interesting. Standard, design one, or that. That's something a bit different as well, isn't it? Look at that. Uh, rim colour, anything on that palette. And licence plate option on there too. So, like I said, I've got the side panels off. 
what I'm going to do is just disconnect that a second because I'll swing it around. I've gone for the cab as you can see. Lights, beacon, uh, pipe out. So I've gone for that one because I just I thought the design was something a little bit different. I quite like that. There is a pipe light on there as you can see just there. Now at the moment we're on bulk carrier lid. So if I do that and that, it opens that up at the top. If I press triangle, it goes to left cover and right cover. But I haven't got those on. So we can raise and lower those covers if you've got them on. Now if we go to back stairs, we can raise and lower the stairs. Switch it again, it takes us to engine side cover. That's up here I think. There we go. Can open and close the side cover for the engine. Press it again, front stairs. This adds or removes the front stairs. Like that. Again, we're back to the bolt carry lid, which is on the top. Like that. So a few different options on there. Uh, L1 and right stick side to side. We can open it, sorry. Side to side opens and closes the door. Let me see that. There we go. And then from inside, do that again. Up and down does the uh, visor, the sunscreen, like so. Interior. You notice as well the buttons on the side there? As I'm turning the button, the buttons are actually going up and down as you're turning them on. All off. That's cool. <laughs> That's really cool. Uh, so, now what I will say is this. The header onto the header trailer. Where you think you need to release it is not where you need to release it. So what we'll do is we'll detach it and I'll show you what I mean. So take it off. So if you look at the angle of it and where you would think you would sit it down, about there, because it will sit down and rest against all the supports. If I drop it there and then let go, it will tip towards me and fall off. So to put it on the trailer, you've got to go a lot further forward than you think and then do it and then it will snap into position. It did snap into position. It's not going to do it this time. There we go. So you have to go a bit further forward with it than you'd think you would have to. That's all. With the header on, with this header, we've got adjustment of that. Again, nice mechanical bits on that that are moving. I like that. Drop that down. And then, I mean, as far as the rest of it goes, it harvests. It's a harvester. There you go. That's the Massey Ferguson 5650 by Holtz FS and Wagner Giacomozzi. I hope you found all of this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.